Welcome everyone to another interview with one of our fun traders. This one is a very special one because it's a record payout in Fun Encrypt's history. Welcome, Jack Group. But before we start the interview, can you please start by introducing yourself a little bit? Hey, uh, my name is Jack Group. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Germany. Doing nothing, yep. just trading. <laughs> So can you tell us a little bit about your trading journey? How did it start? How long have you been trading? Where are you now? What are your dreams? And how much of your dreams have you accomplished so far? Yeah, I'm trading since two years. So I started like three to four months before my 18th birthday. And I got scammed before. But after that, I... Uh, saw someone it's my mentor and uh, they're in like an academy we do a lot of networking thing learning to trade and it uh, it interested me a lot and uh, i stick to them till day and i will stick to them like the next five or ten years <laughs> till i die and <laughs> <laughs> It's very yeah. nice to hear, but very sad to hear that you were scammed. Did you start trading with Forex or have you ever traded crypto or other markets as well? Uh, before it was share market, then crypto, and then now it's Forex. It's amazing because I see your payout and it's $140,000 payout. This is a record in Funding Pips history. And what is your account size in Funding Pips? Uh, 100,000. And how long since you've been trading in Funding Pips to receive that profit? Uh, one week. <laughs> You have only been trading for one week and got a hundred and forty thousand dollars payout. Yes, correct. And you are nineteen years old, ladies and gentlemen. This is really, really astonishing, and I am very uh, surprised too. And how long um, has it been since you you were trading phase one and phase two? Uh, phase two was like for twenty minutes. Phase okay. one was for half day, maximum two days. I don't even know what to say to this answer. These are crazy, crazy uh, numbers and I'm very surprised. So uh, let's get back to your trading journey then. You've been trading for two years and you learned how to trade in an academy, uh, I assume. and. Can you tell us a little bit of like, how did you get where you are right now? Like some of key insights of your journey. Mm, it's like, uh, if you stick to one thing, if you see a vision, then you will do everything to achieve something you dream of. And uh, it's a hard way. Yeah, it was a hard two years. I saw a lot. I saw everything fell down from one day to second day but uh, i was like never like okay fuck i'm i'm, I'm down yeah and uh, i just had my stick my head to the wall and was like okay go on do you think like there are mo of, of course there are moments in our trading journey when we think we're not going to make it anymore and we want to give up what made you keep going Instead of my this, parents, your parents, can yeah. you tell a little more about that? Mm, the thing is, my parents are working every day, and I'm working since I'm 19 years old, but I'm working since six, seven years. Also, before it was weekend, now it's every day since three years, and uh, it's like I don't want to do this anymore, I need freedom, and freedom you, you will just get freedom with money, right. And uh, it's like a good opportunity to make more money. And that's like the big, big thing, which I told me like, okay, I will never stop doing this. Does your family support your trading journey? Yes, since day one. Okay, this is your first payout in Funding Pips, but have you had any other payouts before this? 
Yes, I had uh, with other prop firms uh, payouts, 15K payout. Then I had like with my Forex ones, I had a uh, huge account size. Yeah. And uh, I had a payout open for like 150K. And from today of tomorrow, it was like your account is frozen for everyone. And <laughs> go on in a second. I definitely feel your pain and how your parents reacted your payout so far, and especially your funding pips payout. Because I imagine uh, from what you said, this is your biggest payout yet. What was yes. their reaction? What did they say? I didn't tell them. I was surprised. Them. <laughs> really so they yeah. still don't know have no clue they don't know. No. what do you plan to do with this payout if that's all right for us asking uh i will give a part to my parents and the other one i won't go to lv or gucci and spend my money there i will invest it in like crypto i will buy more challenges make my capital bigger and maybe uh, real money as a, like my own money, not funding pips. <laughs> I will stay to funding pips, yeah. But uh, my plan is like to take a part of money and make it like a Your private broker. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely get your pay, like uh, what you mean. How long has it been since you have been a profitable trader? Because you have been getting payouts and this is your biggest payout mm. yet and this is also funding pips biggest payout so how long has it been since you were profitable since you were like okay i think i am making this work like i i am trading i'm profitable how long has it been i think it was one and a half year ago or oh, one year ago it was like i made in one day 20 percent and uh, this gave me like the okay when i'm sticking to a thing i can make it and this was like the day where i can tell when i'm doing everything right i can be profitable but i made like in the last six or eight months no money oh so i definitely I understand yeah yeah what was the hardest thing in this trading journey for you? Was that like the eight or seven months of not getting any payouts or what was it? The hardest thing was not like to get no cash. It was for me, it was a good thing because uh, if you trade for money, you will lose. If you trade for a hobby, you will win. No, that's a good, actually, that's a good sentence. That's a funny yeah. way to look at it to something that is so stressful. Do you think trading is stressful or hard at this point? Or do you think it, it's just easy for you now? Now it's easy, but it was really hard. Yeah, but uh, if you do it right, it won't be really hard. Like you have to be your mindset right your psychology right and uh, you won't think like every day uh, okay this is really stressful and this every business is stressful trading is not just like a mini job or a part-time job to make like okay i'm trading 10 15 20 minutes a day like if you want to open a new business it's really stressful for 10 years if you stick down for two years in trading or three, four, five, one year, you will be successful. And it's like a short time compending to other businesses. Like if you compare, I will show you, you can show someone, hey, yo, look, it's trading, it's nice. And they will just say like, okay, I want to be a mini millionaire in six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten months. But it won't be like this. This is actually very true. If you look at trading as a business and see it from that perspective, you will know that you will have losses, but at the end, you will also have some profit. So you just need the patience to walk through that phase 
as I understand from what you said. But can you tell us more about that mentality behind this gorgeous payout? How did you get from point A to point B? Yes, aside from like the technicals behind it, like the charts behind it. How did your mentality get from a non-profitable trader to a profitable trader? Mm, I place a trade and don't look on my phone. Like sometimes I look on trading view, set me some uh, alarms. I don't know what's in English. <laughs> and <Sure>. uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, I'll, first it was like, okay, I'm looking. Okay, it's going like equity is going down, up, and it's uh, too stressful. And I avoid this by just setting me alarms and not looking 24/7 on the screen. Like it's 20% doing and 80% is emotional. Or and why do you think that is? Trading is easy. You just need one strategy, a strategy, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, if you have this, it's risk management on point, then nothing else will happen, right? Just if you do like think over and over and over, then it's like, okay, you will do something wrong. And does your strategy consist of not being like not looking at the screen all the time like you, you can just place a trade and not look at it for hours and hours so on which time frame you usually get your entries it's difficult i'm looking like a daily four hour one hour and 30 minutes for which direction could be the market is going and then I'm analyzing in one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes. Oh, I definitely understand that. We'll get more to that when we get to see your see some of your trades, some of your uh, point of view uh, in this matter. But before that, I want to ask you a question about how you studied to get where you are now. As you know, backtesting is quite important in trading to be a successful trader. Uh, would you agree with that? Or what was your method while you were studying the charts? Mm, it was like uh, when I traded, I took trades. Is this a uh, funded account? Is this demo account? I took trades. And when I hit the SL, the stop loss, I looked like uh, I back tested every trade. Now I'm not back testing for like the last one month, but uh, I back tested and looked every single trade. Okay, where could be the uh, wrong thing? What did I did wrong? You know, and uh, I found many couple of mistakes in my tr trades. And uh, I think if you don't do back testing, you, it's like more than like gambling and and uh, just press, press some buttons because of back testing you can learn such more of your own mistakes you cannot just copy other traders by looking them on youtube you have to do your own thing and uh, you will make mistakes and you will find them and you will do everything you don't do the mistakes again so basically a trader should examine what went wrong in their trades that got stopped out and work on what they're missing so that's basically yes. what you're saying i'm very impressed by that but uh, let's move on by seeing some of your trades while getting this payout if that's possible can you show us a little bit of your point of view Yes, of course. Um, this is like a little bit hard to explain because it was like after New Year's and uh, you can see this big, huge candle and uh, this big, huge candle here. And it was like for uh, on trading view, it didn't show anything for like six hours straight. If you see this here. <laughs> And it was a huge movement on uh, 
trading it was like 50 pips. But uh, I analyzed a little bit on MetaTrader and my entries was like here. My SL was a little bit shorter than nine pips. And yeah, it was boom, it has a direction. When I closed here and uh, if I left it open, it would, would be like up here. I don't know how many pips this is like. Uh, yeah. 450 pips. Can you tell us what was your confirmation while entering this trade? We cannot see this here, oh, but gotcha. it was like break obstruction, other blocks. It's like more uh, smart money. Oh, yeah, trade yeah. like smart money and uh, small SL, other blocks, uh, liquidity, break of structure. I waited for my confirmations to get done and then I took the trade. Yeah. And what was your confirmation to get out of this trade? Because as you said, if you left it open, wow, it skyrocketed. But I guess we can say that for a lot of trades, if we left it open, we would hit like a lot of profit. But what made of you course, close yeah. this trade over there? Uh, usually I just look. Uh, I make a bigger screen like here and then I just look like here. Okay. It's straight candles and here I can see, okay, it was a uh, normal time, nothing between closing the markets and the market was like for two hours, two and a half hours in one zone. And then I just pick my uh, tool here and make like this and then I looked here and uh, the market reacted on this point. If you can see this mm -hmm. and then I looked here, I put my SL on break even a little bit in profit and uh, then it went up and then I closed here. That's actually a beautiful trade. Uh, but can I ask you, like, is it hard for you to check the charts in one minute for the latest confirmation? Yes, we we can actually look at the chart in one day, four hour, you know, like one hour. Uh, but while getting into the one minute, do you think the chart is just too noisy or can you see it clearly? What like what's going on in your mind? I can see it clearly what the market is doing. Uh, normally, it's like uh, my favorite pair, US dollar JBY. Mm -hmm. I I traded for like two three months and I know what he's doing or she. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it comes with experience. Like I I know what the market will do on which time and uh, yeah. And you said JPY, uh, you trade JPY. Is there a specific reason you chose that pair at the first time at first uh, or just you, you came across and you just liked it and you happened to watch it for like two or three months and you said to yourself, okay, I'm gonna trade that. Like, what was the reason? Mm, it was more like I hit it more take profits than SL on US dollar JPY than other pairs. And I don't know, my time is like I'm working from 11 to 11 every day. And then I'm awake till three or four o'clock here, Frankfurt time and Germany time. And uh, this is like the time where you trade usually and I don't have this time for me. This is like then I the market opens at zero, like 12 o'clock and I trade the Asia sh session mm -hmm. and I told me like, OK, I'm awake till three or four o'clock every day and I can trade this session. Is that so, hard um, for you working and trading at the same time? No, I'm I got stick to this. So. <laughs> Are you still going to work after this amount of payout? I have to, yeah, I have to because it's my parents' uh, own business and they supported me. I have to support them till they don't find any worker. <laughs> <laughs> 
So if they find someone that can cover your shifts, would you quit your current job to become a full-time trader? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. When Is I made this a lot of money in one week and have more capital, I don't know what can I do with a full-time trader. Oh, that's an interesting point of view, actually. If you had more time, you think, you would make more profits. But have you tried explaining this to your parents so maybe they can understand or not? Mm, they will understand this 100%, but I didn't talk to them in any, uh, any point. <laughs> <laughs> But I know, like, I know po your point of view. I, I can understand it. You want to support your parents. You want to support your parents' business and you help them. Uh, that's actually uh, being a very good son. So congratulations both on your payout and for your hardworking job. And what do you do in your parents' business? Uh, I'm a waiter, a delivery guy, management, everything. <laughs> so you do everything. You're like a... Everything that's amazing that's amazing and in your spare time you just make i don't know like two hundred thousand dollars out of thin air and that's your hobby <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing actually um but would you have any advice to our viewers who are trying to follow your footsteps who are trying to be profitable like you yes some advice i can give uh listen to no one especially when you are young your friend circle will tell you don't do this do this this is bullshit this is not bullshit when you see a clear vision do this what you want do exactly what you want never listen to anyone if no one is supporting just cancel them off i know it's a guy uh, on the internet he's a he's a good speaking mentor and uh, i think everyone knows this video with the rubber band here and here and then it's like 20 30 rubber bands and he is like uh, picking one 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 and cutting all off and not all together and if you cut them all off you can go your path if not you will stay like the whole life you they want to be you will stay like them if you have four friends which are junkies, you will be the fifth one. If you have four ones they are good at driving, you will be the fifth one. If you have four friends which are good at entrepreneurship, at trading, you will be the fifth one, which is successful. And just stick to the plan. Just, yeah. I can talk for hours and hours. <laughs> and you should. Like, we are very curious to learn about your advices and how you look at these things uh, because yes you are very young but at this age you are doing what anyone else is trying to do what every other trader is trying to do um a six digit payout in one week it's not an easy job and people need to realize that so i definitely understand your point of view and uh, would our viewers uh, to understand and grasp your point of view because uh, such occasions are quite inspirational to us so I'm definitely curious you talked about your friends you know like uh, how about like whatever it, your friends are like you will be that too so how did your friend circle change uh, from the beginning of your trading journey until now Mm, at the beginning, I had a uh, other friend circle, but then as games changed like school and my friend changed, but uh, this friends which I have now since I know this guy since three to four years and uh, they all have like this mind chip, uh, mindset, uh, make money, make more money, don't make any break. And uh, this is like the thing which, which motivates you when we go out like uh on a friday we are just in the parking space drinking some water or red bull nothing bullshit and uh yeah we just talk about money we want to make money <laughs> so
so you guys just come together and talk about money for fun yeah it's like uh, <laughs> we talk about many other things too but we every time we talk about money every single time that's actually amazing because as i understand you guys support each other in your actions towards earning money yes, are any yes. of your friends trading as well are you teaching them not yet not yet but uh, they are doing other things uh, they're uh, so what can i say the one is drop shipping another one is doing anything else and so they will come yeah everyone everyone one friend of mine is like working i think 12 to 14 hours a day just to make more capital to do something else that actually makes a lot of sense and i think these days a lot of young people are trying to uh, join this hustle culture you know so uh, what i think is that it's really important to have a skill set and master that skill set and build as much as you can with that skill set because if you do something good people are going to want to learn it from you so i definitely understand your point of view do you plan to teach your friends how to trade yeah of course <laughs> I will so, do that they can, so that they can get that much of uh profits as well i hope i hope they will make more than me I wow really wow that's such a good friend that is such a good friend and i'm really happy to see someone like you uh wishing your friend to get get more profit than you so 100 <laughs> percent. i'm not so that bad. guy which get jealous i love it to see other ones with more things than me <laughs> so yeah definitely this is really important because these days people maybe have become more self-centered or anything but seeing people like this really uh, accelerates my faith in humanity actually so <laughs> thank you for the motivation for uh today um i want to ask you another question you know like yeah we learned about your advice but what advice would you give to traders who are trying to learn how to trade where should they start how should they improve themselves yes don't give up on your dreams but how to start and how to move on what should they study they should should stick to one strategy and uh, shouldn't switch up to many of them they just folk you have to focus on one thing you have to focus on one thing one strategy if you are profitable if you learn a lot of them and you just need one if you can handle one good enough then you can learn another if you do the another the second one really good then go to the third and just learn which are good for yourself and don't be like okay i have to be 24 7 on the charts maybe take a day off read a book listen to a good podcasts uh anything with mindset and <laughs> i don't know yeah but uh, for the beginning it's really good to look like okay just learn strategy and mindset. i understand it's that important but the problem with like mastering one strategy for traders is the patience part uh, traders are not usually that patient for their one strategy to show itself on the charts you know what i mean like they can't wait for that strategy so they just took before that strategy shows itself and then we all know the end game the end result so how did you move on from that phase how did you build patience how did you build um the strength to wait for your strategy to show up on the charts mm, for me it is like uh, i'm usually a patient patient guy i can i have this i'm not like uh, i need this now i need this yeah and because it's uh, my work because i'm waiting and uh, people are like looking in their menu books and it's like 
<laughs> it comes. Next time yeah. I'm ordering, I will remember this. I never knew. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good. I point. hope no customers see this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and in my area is really, really much traffic. And since I'm in my car and I cannot drive like swerve in the traffic, it's like full jam. And uh, this is like the things which made me. Uh, a short term angry long term angry i don't know uh, <laughs> i get your point though i get your point though my last question for you is about funding pips you've been trading with us not for a long time i have to say <laughs> Not for a long time because uh, for viewers who are just seeing this video, he traded his phase one in half a day and phase two in like 30 minutes and Thank funded you. phase. <laughs> and the funded phase he traded only for a week and got a hundred and forty thousand dollars payout. So this may seem hard for us, but it wasn't so hard for Jig Group. Uh, so. Uh, how was your experience with funding pips? How did you find the spreads? How was the overall website, the layout? How was everything? I really love it. I really love it compared to. I just don't want to uh, mention any other platforms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the funding pips is for me like on the top because uh, the dashboard is clearly. It's not like too much or too less. You understand everything. The support is like you write one message, they're like uh, answering in seconds back. And uh, the spreads are, as for my pair, US dollar JPY, it's like on the normal time, it's zero spreads, one spread. And this is like nothing compared to others. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> I really that love these are actually spread. nice yeah. to hear. <laughs> These are very nice to hear. So uh, what is your funded capital at the moment? I'm sure you are also trading other prop firms as well. Um, right, yeah, I have another prop firms as well, yeah. But uh, only one this time. And it's it's a lot, yeah, but it's just 100K because I didn't have that much time. But now I will focus to do more and more because I have the capital <laughs> to do something and uh, I will take more time, yeah. I don't think it will take long. I don't think it will take long too. Like in one week, maybe we can see you in another interview, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so what's your goal about prop firms? Like, do you aim to get more capital and work less in the charts or like, are you happy with your current capital and move on from there? Uh, I'm happy, yeah, but uh, never stay at one point. Try to be, try to get more and more. And for every day, I'm thankful. Yeah, God is great, but uh, just try to make more and more. <laughs> oh, I understand that. Uh, very much so you want to build your capital and add it to your private equity and then maybe someday you will trade your own equity and yes, yes. who knows maybe we'll see you somewhere else i hope so <laughs> thank you j group for accepting our offer and seeing us today i really enjoyed this interview and i really enjoyed hearing about your experience and trading journey and i hope our viewers also enjoyed it as well and i'll see you guys on another interview but before we close uh Jigrob, do you have any other final words advices for anyone who's watching us today just try just do it just do it on your own way there was a there was an animation like this. I think it was Finding Nemo, and there was this Dory character saying, "Like just swim, you know, like yeah, yeah, swim. yeah, just swim <laughs> in the market, yeah." <laughs> exactly, exactly, just swim in the markets. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys on another interview.